All right. Well, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, I'm Mike Johnson, the Director of Public Works, and I want to welcome everyone to the groundbreaking for the new Public Works Maintenance Facility. Um, every big project like this uh, has to have a sponsor without which the support for the project will not move forward. Without their support, the project won't move forward. But before I introduce you to our sponsor, I would like to recognize several people who are instrumental in getting us to this point. Uh, we have our older men and older women here today. Um, I see older woman Tierney, I see older woman Chandelmeyer, older woman Finlayson, older woman Pindle Charles, and um, you know, in general, our older um, men and women supported that. City manager David Jarrell, who initiated this project, he was the public works director before city manager. Um, the DPW task force, headed by Jared Littman, and. Uh, we have here also our project architects, Leo Hammond and Chris Frank. Well, Leo is off, said he couldn't make it, but Chris is representing the firm. Our project engineer, Terry Schumann. Our design builder team, Ben Harris and Bo Koch. They're the guys who are going to make it happen. And um, our dynamic duo from Public Works, um, Betsy McKeown. And Donovan Harold, the, the gentleman wearing the hat who's overheating. <laughs> so thank you all. Thank you very much. So without further ado, it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our sponsor and mayor, Gavin Buckley. Thank you. Well, we're all sponsors. It's exciting to be here today. Uh, um, I just came in from a ride from our old water plant and one of our old municipal buildings. And, um, uh, back in the day, they used to spend a lot of money on those municipal buildings because they realized how important they were and that they knew they had to build them to last. And so it has been worth the wait for us to deliver a new public works facility at this location um, and then have an opportunity site in another part of our city. So thanks for being here today as we break ground on a new facility for the Department of Public Works. When I came into office, we knew we needed a new DPW facility. But the location on Spa Road simply wasn't the right place. Now we have this much better facility in a much better location. In a few minutes, you'll hear, um, uh, sorry, <laughs> in a few minutes you'll hear from the construction company who will take a, a talk about the timeline of the construction of our DPW and from our DPW director, Mike Johnson, and who will talk about the specifics. I want to tell you why, as residents and visitors to the city of Annapolis, you should be just as excited about a new DPW facility as we are. There's a lot of press out here, so I have to make this for a general audience. So. <laughs> the Department of Public Works has a significant portfolio of work. They repair and maintain roads, including traffic control and paving but also snow removal and storm cleanup. They are in charge of solid waste collection and disposal, water and sewer lines, potable water production, pump stations, storm drains, fleet repair, maintenance of city facilities, and much, much more. They are the unsung heroes that have kept our city functioning during flooding, in sleet and snow, and now, even this past year, during the pandemic. Sometimes they don't feel the love. <laughs> Their old location on Spa Road is a facility that is well past the end of its service life. It is a site that has been in use for the better part of a century. Environmentally, the site, the site sits less than 50 feet from the headwaters of Spa Creek. A hundred years ago, when the facility was situated there, they weren't, they weren't required to put in stormwater controls. Here at this site, we'll get it right. With 125% of impervious area treated. That deserves a round of applause because that wouldn't have happened. Back in the old site, there wasn't any room 
for modern administrative offices or decent locker rooms. Here at this site, our workers are being taken care of. At the old site, there wasn't room for storage. That insufficient space meant the materials were stored in locations all over the city. You know when you need to make a repair and you go to the utility closet to get the thing you need and it isn't there. Then you go on a treasure hunt. Imagine doing that, but in, location, but in the location isn't just your home or your shed, but it's spread across seven, seven square miles. Very frustrating for our DPW. Here at this location, we have adequate storage to meet the maintenance and repair needs of DPW staff. That means your roads and water mains get repaired faster. The new salt dome dispenser is completely contained. This facility will have EV ready and, include, and will include a green roof. All the landscaping and grading will surpass environmental standards. We wanted to get this right, not only in terms of how the Department of Public Works could function, but in a great location here on Hudson Street in a more fitting industrial area. When I came into office, Speaker Bush implored me not to re-site DPW on Spa Road. We wanted a better facility, but we wanted it in a better location too. By not having trucks coming on and off Spa Road at peak travel times of the day, we will help traffic. A hundred years ago, Spa Road was on the outskirts of town. Now it is centrally located and not in the right place for public works. When this new building will, is completed, we can look to other uses for, spa, for the Spa Road site. We can connect the two green spaces between the Cal Ripken and the Senior Centre. Uh, we will have better, a better plan for protecting the headwaters of Spa Creek. Delaying construction on Spa Road and finding this site for this beautiful new facility on Hudson Street is a better plan for residents, for the environment, for city staff and for the Department of Public Works. We're all excited to see this new facility come online in the next 18 months. I thank everyone who got involved to help us with this outcome. Now let's hear from Rhonda. I want to thank Sheila for, and Jared for making the right decision, helping us out on Forest Drive. I think it was a great team effort here and I want to also thank uh, old woman Pindell Charles for having this facility in her ward that has the greatest amount of um, businesses in the whole city. Is that right, old woman Pindell Charles? And again, thank you everybody. Thank you. Well, you don't have to get it, but they got to get it. Good morning. It's our DPW. It's dirty punishing work. Yes, it's a dirty job, but somebody has to do it. You heard our mayor, our Department of Public Works staff. When they are repairing and maintaining our roads, afterwards we just sit back and enjoy the ride. When they remove the snow and clear the debris after a storm, we are just at home asleep in our nice warm beds. When they are making sure that our water is safe, we just automatically turn on that faucet and sit back and have a nice cool drink. When they are checking our storm drains and repairing the vehicles in our fleet and maintaining our city facilities and it's really hot outside, well, we just sit up under our AC. When they're installing and maintaining our sewer lines, well, we just keep on flushing. And when it comes to solid waste collection and solid waste disposal, well, you don't have to get it, but they got to get it. And so, yes, it's a real dirty job, but someone has to do it. How do I know what our residents do while our DPW staff is hard at work? Because I'm one of those residents too. So has our DPW personnel earned the right to have a 21st century facility here on Hudson Street in Ward 3? Well, of course they do, absolutely. So the next time you flush, just remember, you don't have to get it, but they gotta get it. Thank you and God bless you all and God bless our awesome DPW Dream Team Nighty Night.
think they want me to speak to the timeline for this project. So uh, I'm Ben Harry's, one of the owners of Builder Guru Contracting. Um, our entire design build team is thankful and appreciative that we've been a part of this project. Bay Engineering, Hammond Wilson Architects, and Builder Guru Contracting. Um, this project started for us in 2014. So to say it is a project we're passionate about is, is a true statement. Um, in a couple weeks, we'll break ground. We'll be putting stormwater infrastructure in, sediment and erosion controls for about four months. And then we'll, we, we will begin vertical construction uh, towards the end of this calendar year. And by the end of next calendar year, this will be a functional site for the Department of Public Works. It is a huge critical infrastructure piece that's been missing in the city for a long time. And we're really appreciative that we're part of the team doing the project. Thank you very much. All right, well, I guess I get to, uh, to kick off the, the, the actual groundbreaking. But before I do that, I just wanna say a personal thanks to Ben, to Bo, to Leo for sticking with us. This has been a long haul. Thank you for sticking with us. Thank you, thank you. Um, Betsy and Donovan, great job get, getting this through all the hoops that we had to get this through over these last six years now, I guess. And Sam as well, thank you. Uh, and thank you to our council members that are here for supporting this project. That, as, as we move forward, you know, the costs continue to escalate and, and thank you for, for, for being supportive of that. That's, that's the way construction goes. So this is an exciting time. Obviously, we've been waiting a long time to do this, and, and so we're very excited. I can't wait to see the finished product when we cut the ribbon, uh, and that won't be so far down the road. Um, I appreciate everybody coming out today. So all the VIPs, come on up, grab a shovel in the back and a hard hat, and we'll do the groundbreaking. Three, two, one. There we go. Yay! 